Hello, I'm John Clark, and I work at the University of Arkansas System Division of Agriculture, and I'm at the division's fruit research station near Clarksville. This is where our fruit breeding program has been based since its beginning in 1964. Dr. James Moore had a broad dream when he began the fruit breeding program, working on a range of crops. But one of our most important crops and where we've had our greatest success is blackberries. The first blackberries were released in 1974, the varieties Comanche and Cherokee, and a whole series of those have been released since then. The first thornless was Navajo, which took 25 years to get the canes to stand upright and get thornlessness in the canes. And the floricane fruiting varieties that followed, such as Arapaho, Apache, Washita and Osage have all made major contributions to commercial blackberry production for shipping, local markets, and they're really good at home also. Then we began to work in the late 90s in Primacane fruiting, a true breakthrough in blackberry production to allow fruiting for a longer period. These are some of the key achievements of the program, and it's really exciting to get to share them with you today. I'm often asked, what is a Primacane fruiting blackberry? Well, the first thing we need to talk about is what is a blackberry botanically. Blackberries and their cousin raspberries are very unique plants. They have a perennial root system, which means they live year after year after year, but they have biennial canes, meaning the canes live two years. This is quite unusual in the plant kingdom. Most of the blackberries you've seen are floricane fruiting varieties, where the primacane grows the first year, the first year growth, it goes through a dormant period, and the second year it flowers and fruits, and after flowering and fruiting, it senesces and dies, and the new primacane is growing for next year's crop. And one of the key things about floricane fruiting varieties, the type that goes through the dormant period, most of the ones in the world today, is this time of year, the primacanes are vegetative, and you can see the growing point has no flowers. This is the floricane fruiting cane, and this cane will fruit next summer, providing fruit from May to July, depending on where you're located in the Northern Hemisphere. Now, primocane fruiting blackberries are something entirely new, and the primocane fruiting variety produces fruit on the current season cane or the primocane. This cane emerged from the crown or root system this year, and the cane terminated in flowers and the small berries developing. In the blackberry world, this is a breakthrough because it offers a number of advantages. First, in theory, you can get two crops on the same plant. You can also, in appropriate environmental conditions, get fruit until frost. Another advantage, potentially, of primocane fruiting blackberries is in cold regions of the country or world where the canes will not overwinter due to damaging temperatures. With the primocane fruiting cultivars, they can grow from the crown or the root system, emerge, flower, and fruit on the current season canes. Now, it may take some special management to do that, but it opens up a lot of new windows. So what does that mean in production? This allows production for an extended period, not just the four to six weeks that we often think about blackberry production being active in a region, but in theory can move to six months, possibly more, with various cultivars of floricane fruiting, primocane fruiting, and management of the canes. So primocane fruiting gives us an opportunity to expand production areas, regions, environments blackberries be grown, and really important is keep blackberries on the market shelf so that our consumers always have them on hand for buying opportunities. Primocane fruiting is one of the biggest things I've seen come along in blackberries, and it's exciting to be a part of this new technology for blackberry producers. Let's talk a little bit about the history of primocane fruiting in blackberries. The trait was found in a wild plant found in Virginia many years ago. In Arkansas, we've been working for the last 21 years on primocane fruiting to improve it and incorporate it in our blackberry breeding program. I remember the day, September 27, 1997, when we selected the first 14 primocane fruiting blackberry selections. 
I remember leaving the field that day thinking, wow, this is exciting. The first thought, this is almost a new crop and it will be fun for the next 25 years of my career to improve this. The other thought was, wow, those berries aren't very good. They were small little berries. Many of them had poor flavor. Often, many of them were doubles. Many of them had poor color. So I looked at that and said, how are we gonna make that better? Well, it's been quite the story to be where we are today. Primocane fruiting cultivars that have diverse times of flowering, thornlessness, high fruit quality, high productivity. We've got a long way to go to make the perfect primocane fruiting blackberry, but we are well on our way at the University of Arkansas. This is Primark 45. Released in 2009 from the University's fruit breeding program, Primark 45 is the world's first shipping quality primocane fruiting blackberry. It has large fruit, very good flavor, good shipping capability, and high productivity. I'm holding floracane fruiting plants right now that have borne fruit in June, and the blooms are now present on the primocanes to produce the primocane crop. Primark 45 is thorny, so that's something to consider. It works well in commercial production. However, you might want to think about that for pick your own because oftentimes pick your own customers are concerned about thorns. Primark 45 is a great choice and one that a lot of people are really happy with. This is Primark Freedom. It was the world's first thornless Primarcane fruiting blackberry released in 2013. Primark Freedom was unique and we finally got the thorns off the plants. However, it's more of a homeowner or pick your own or local market berry because it does not ship as well as Primark 45 or Primark Traveler. But look at these berries, wow, these are impressive. These are floricane berries that ripened in late June here in Arkansas. And right now there are small green berries on the Primacanes which will produce the second crop. These are bragging berries. This is Primark Traveler, a 2014 release from the University Fruit Breeding Program. This is the world's first commercial shipping quality thornless Primacane fruiting blackberry. It has large fruit, very nice flavor, it has a subacid flavor that consumers really like. These are floricane fruit ripening in late June in West Central Arkansas. But right now, the canes are setting the Primacane crop. And that's a crop that in certain conditions, particularly mild climate, you can extend the production season for quite a long time. Primark Traveler has been a lot of fun to develop, and I hope it will cause lots of satisfaction with growers and consumers. One of the key aspects of managing erect cane blackberries is the tipping of the primocanes during the growing season. This needs to be carried out on all blackberries. And for example, here you see the branching that occurs after tipping the primocane. If this is not done, the cane will continue to expand and can get outside of the areas you want the plants to grow. You can see the point that the primocane was tipped here several weeks ago has resulted into multiple lateral branches which are producing numerous berries. This is a key component of managing erect cane blackberries, and it increases the fruiting area of primocane fruiting varieties. Research in Oregon and in California has shown that multiple tippings are really valuable for increasing yields. For instance, tipping at about a foot and a half to three feet tall, and then tipping the laterals that result from that at the same length multiplies the growing points, multiplies flowering, increase yields. So that has to be looked at carefully as you manage primocane fruiting varieties so that you get all you can from the plants for high levels of productivity and increased grower profits. This is a primocane and the tipping is done approximately shoulder height. It's very simple, just a cut like that. And that will maintain the hedgerow that you want to have keep your plants under control, and keep the canes where you want them. Wow, that's simple. And as long as you do it, particularly when the canes are small and the tips are soft, you get the maximum response 
and its greatest health opportunity for the plant to heal the cut and result in nice lateral branching. The lateral branches are critical for increased yields, creating a beautiful hedgerow, lateral branches, high productivity, and blackberries that are easy to maintain. One of the first challenges I saw with Promacane fruiting blackberries back in 1997 was the impact of heat on the Promacane fruiting potential. My observations over the last 20 years has pretty much shown that when it gets above 90 degrees Fahrenheit for multiple days or extended periods, that hinders Promacane fruiting. Hinders it how? First off, when it gets really hot, on up around 100, it will stop the flowering process. It will inhibit bud formation. It can lead to double fruits. It can make the berries smaller. It can make poor quality and poor color. So it can be quite dramatic. The cane I'm holding here is developing very nice with full set berries. And so this is developed in the upper 80s, showing adaptation to that climate. You know, Primacane fruiting has got a long way to go before it's adapted to all growers in all regions of the country. So everybody's going to have to pitch in and do a little bit to figure out what is best for every region and down to each farm. Primacane fruiting is one of the true breakthroughs in new blackberry production technology. But there's a lot to be done to develop the exact growing methods for homeowners, local markets, and commercial producers. There's a lot to do to adapt the technology to farms across the country and world. It's an exciting time, and that's something to look forward to in the years to come for increased blackberry production.